Hi, my name is Akira and welcome to my video, Hard Work, The Myth of Success and Security, where I show you the power of leverage and working smart instead of working hard and how to get your money working hard for you rather than you working hard for your money. So enjoy my video podcast. Hi, my name is Zakiavin, and I help success-minded people create the happy, healthy, wealthy, abundant lifestyle you love. Come visit me at zakiavin.com for more awesome videos and podcasts to help you create the happiness, health, wealth, and abundance of freedom you desire. All right, here we go. Hard work, the myth of success and security. Now, the greatest myth taught for generations and perhaps even millennia is work hard and you will succeed in life but if that was actually true then most people on planet earth would be rich because everybody works hard working hard may earn you a living but it will never ever make you rich because typical hard work especially labor and trading hours for dollars has no leverage and without leverage it is impossible to get rich so most people settle for just barely getting by instead of achieving any degree of freedom. Most people just work hard their entire lives dreaming of retirement where they will finally have freedom. Unfortunately, retiring doesn't guarantee that you will actually have the freedom that you desire. You may finally have the time you have longed for but not the financial freedom to really capitalize on all that free time that you now have. For me, my definition of true success is having the time and the money. Success for me is having true freedom, which is the time and the money to do what I want, whenever I, whenever I want, wherever I want, with whoever I want. Because I have always worked for myself. I've always had the time to do what I wanted but not necessarily the money. So I've always had time freedom, but not financial freedom. So how can you, and anyone for that matter, get both time freedom and money freedom and retire early and retire young? Now, I hate the word retire because our general perception of retire is the 40-40-40 plan which is work hard for 40 years of your life, for 40 hours a day, to retire with only 40% of the pay that you uh, received when you were working. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't imagine having 40% less money to live on when I'm retired. In fact, if I was to retire right now, I would believe I would need 40% even more money uh, to do all the fun things that I want to do, like travel. Now, most people dream of retiring to travel, but when they retire, they can't afford to travel. I mean, what kind of bullshit is that? That's because they bought the lie of working hard for your money so hard for it, honey. I say, fuck that bullshit. Working hard for money never bought anyone the time freedom and the financial freedom that most people desire. The only way to buy true freedom of having the money and the time to do what you want, when you want, is to get your money working for you, not you working for money. The way to achieve freedom and have the time and the money is to have leverage. There is no leverage in trading hours for dollars and working hard for your money. There are only so many hours in the day, and I don't care how much you charge per hour, even if you could charge $200, $500, even $1,000 an hour, you still have zero leverage because if you're not trading your valuable time for money, you're not making any money. There is a classic success saying, learn how to make money while you sleep or you will have to work until you die, which is what most people do because most people's entire lives are their jobs and as soon as that job is gone, they have no purpose in life so they just wither and die. 
That's why I hate the entire concept of retiring. I will never retire because there is nothing in my life that I have to escape and retire from. People long to retire to finally, you know, escape from doing things that they hate doing. But because I care how much uh, you may... Because I don't care how much you may love your job, if you had one million dollars in the bank, there is no freaking way you would continue working. But if you are actually doing things in your life that you loved doing and you had your money working for you rather than you working for your money, then there's nothing to retire from. Because you're having fun all the time. You're doing what you love. People need to retire from lives of drudgery. But what if your life was exciting and you had the time and the money to travel and play and have fun all the time? Well, you can't. And you can start creating that dream life right now, but you've got to get over your work uh, for the money mentality. You've got to let go of the supposed virtuous, faulty, mythical, and downright blatant lie that if you work hard, you'll be happy and successful. Being poor is not any more virtuous than being rich. I don't care what bullshit the religions have taught you, and working hard is no more virtuous than working smart. So what is working smart as opposed to working hard? Well, the key is having leverage. If you are a logger, as an example, do you have any leverage chopping trees down with just you and an axe? Or do you have more leverage if you have a big-ass monster truck that has a giant saw on it that you can cut down a hundred trees in an hour? Another very apt analogy is how the world was colonized and how European countries got rich and powerful. And they did that with the leverage of ships and sails. Do you have more leverage if all you have is a rowboat? Or do you have more leverage if you have a giant sailboat with a crew and a big hull to ship lots of valuable goods? The next level of, level of leverage that countries used to become rich and powerful was the leverage of machines and the assembly line to produce large amounts of goods very quickly and inexpensively. So do you have any leverage if you just have a garage and the ability to manufacture you know, one car uh, maybe every three months or six months? Or do you have more leverage like Mr. Ford did of the assembly line and being able to build a hundred cars a week? Or do you use a or to use a typical scenario of normal life? Do you have any leverage financially if you are a laborer trading hours for dollars, just working 40, 40, 40? Or do you have Leverage if you're the owner of the company employing a hundred people like you. And the employees are your leverage. And the more employees you have, the more leverage you have. Do you have more leverage trading your limited time for money? Or do you have more leverage investing money that earns you interest every day whether you're working or not? Do you get it? Leverage, leverage, leverage. Do you have any leverage buying a house to live in and having to work for four years to pay off the mortgage? Or do you have more leverage buying a home and then renting it out so that you have rental income that comes in every month uh, while you're working, whether you're working or not, but also pays your mortgage? As Rich Dad said, if you want to become rich, you need to work less and earn more. People who only work hard have limited leverage. If you're working hard physically and not getting ahead financially, then you are probably someone else's leverage. That's classic training from the Rich Dad series from Robert Kiyosaki. So, if you're an employee, you are someone else's leverage. You are their leverage to make their dreams come true. You are their leverage to make them rich, not you. So why not learn from their example and use the power of leverage to make your dreams come true? 
and make you rich instead of them. So, you get my point. Working hard for the money is an old, outdated, misguided, uneducated belief in the virtuosity of struggle. Well, I say fuck struggle. You do not have to struggle in life. Struggle is optional, not mandatory. And the new generations understand that. We try to program them with the old work hard ethic, but if they're smart, they're not buying this outdated lie. Maybe in the agrarian age and the industrial ages, there was some merit to the work hard ethic. But the truth really is we all have within us the greatest leverage of all to create whatever we want in our lives, and that is the power of our minds. Hard work and physical action has zero leverage, but getting tools working for you gives you leverage to make more money faster without having to kill yourself for it. In the past, that leverage came from boats and cars and trucks and machines and planes, etc. Well, the leverage of this age is the Internet, where you can literally make money sitting at home. And if you're not capitalizing on that leverage, well, you are literally missing the, the proverbial boat. So, you can see, as a civilization, we're really lazy in nature. We all want things a lot easier, hence the creation of the Internet. And the smart people are capitalizing on this powerful form of leverage. But as powerful of a leverage tool as the Internet is, there is nothing more powerful than the leverage of our minds, something that successful people have been using to become rich and successful for, an abs for a millennia, millennia, regardless of the age or the era. So if you have a desire to achieve true freedom and have the time and the money you desire to do what you want, whatever you want, then before jumping into action and using the leverage tools that are available to you today to help you get rich and free, you need to first hone your skills at using the most powerful tools you have available to you, which is education and mindset, specifically financial education and creating a positive-oriented mindset to create and attract the freedom and the prosperity you desire by getting the most powerful leverage tool in the universe working for you, which is your mind, and then a blob of attraction. So you need to, you, to be reading the books listed on my success book list from authors like Tony Robbins, Robert Kiyosaki, T. Harbecker, Dave, David Schwartz, Napoleon Hill, etc., and you need to be listening to audios and watching videos about success and the law of attraction uh, and investing. And you need to, to learn how to meditate and do affirmations and visualizations. Uh, and I recommend checking out my daily success rituals audio and video series on my website, adzikaron.com. I'll put a link in my Facebook post and on my YouTube video uh, description. Um, and you need to become a master of alignment using the immense leverage of these tools of affirmations, etc. Every day you want to start your day with what Tony Robbins calls, and I love calling it too, your hour of power to get the optimal alignment and, and set up your positive mindset so that you can pre-pave your day every day to create and attract your desires to you. Then, and only then, can you take now, take action, after you've got your, your mindset and, and, your, and your vibration into alignment. Um, so now, finally, you can take action and use the physical forms of leverage to achieve the freedom you desire. Because you want inspired action that emanates from alignment to your, to your source and your desires. Because uninspired, desperate action gets you nowhere fast. But inspired action that is aligned with joy and fun makes you really rich and because you're having fun. Because being rich and having fun are the same vibration. Because with riches, you can have lots of fun. So unless you are programmed with guilt and shame which most people have been, to believe the riches equals pain rather than fun. But, hey, that's, that is another exploration entirely. 
but I recommend freeing yourself from those blatant, debilitating success sabotage beliefs that are getting you absolutely nowhere. All right, so uh, now you're listening to podcasts and meditations and affirmations and success anchoring, and you're listening to Abraham and Tony Robbins and other success and law of attraction training, and you're doing your hour of power every day, and you're reading success-oriented books. So now what? What kind of action can you take to create leverage in your life and get your money working hard for you rather than working hard for your money? All right, well, that's going to be part two. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got something from it, please share it with your friends, and I'll see you on video number two. Uh, and so, um, and remember to always make life a holiday. Woohoo! And have fun. All right, welcome to uh, part two of my video: uh, Hard Work, the Myth of Success and Security. All right, so you've done your, you've been doing your hour of power, you've been training, you're getting your mindset going. Now what? What kind of action? Uh, can you take to create leverage in your life and get money working hard for you rather than you working hard for your money? All right, well, here's some examples of leverage you can use to achieve the freedom that you desire. Number one, start your own business. Now, since you probably weren't born with a trust fund and probably weren't trained in business management, and you probably don't have a million dollars to buy a franchise, and you're not a software genius, then I would do as Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and many other countless amazing books, which I recommend reading every single one of them, recommends in every single one of his books, including A Business of the 21st Century, and that is Join a Network Marketing Company. And if you succeed in that business, well, that may be all the leverage you need to achieve the freedom you desire. And many people do extremely well at network marketing, but most people don't. But even if it takes a long time to succeed in a big way, or even if you don't succeed at all, joining a network marketing company will give you valuable sales skills and business skills and help you get over your fear of rejection. And it will also help you build leadership skills and, in general, help you grow as a person, especially as a business person. Because in order to succeed at anything, you must first become the kind of person who has what you want. And these skills that you learn, you can learn from network, being in a network marketing company will help you succeed in life no matter what you do. In, network, in, in the network marketing industry, we often refer to it as uh, this, this is a business, this is a self-development business masquerading as a product business. So, the self-development that a person can gain from being a committed network marketer is a huge, I emphasize committed, is a huge tool of leverage available to you. But the business itself is also a huge leverage tool. If you try to set up your own company from scratch, unless you already have a ton of money to invest in your company or a massive, uh, amazing credit rating where you can borrow a lot of money, uh, you have very little leverage to actually get a business going and help it succeed. But with a network marketed company, all the systems of success are already set up for you. And instead of costing you hundreds uh, or thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions of dollars to get started, it is only hundreds of dollars to get started. Products are already made up and packaged, ready for delivery. The distribution system's already set up for you. The marketing materials are already set up for you. Websites are already made up for you. Uh, training is already set up for you if it's a good company. Uh, and all you have to do is promote the products and the business. Unfortunately, most people have an employee mentality and mindset, and unless someone is barking orders at them and telling them what to do, they do nothing. And that's what the majority of people do when they join a network marketing company. Nothing, not a Zippo. They think that as soon as they join up uh, with this uh, company, uh, the company is going to send them their own fairy godmother 
uh, to magically grant all their wishes and make them uh, rich in a day. But unfortunately, fairy godmothers seem to be in very short supply, and because she doesn't show up to make them instantly rich, and because most people are afraid of rejection and ignorantly rely upon other people's approval for their happiness and self-worth, the first rejection they get, they then stop doing the business and eventually quit and then bitch moan and complain that network marketing is a scam, it doesn't work. But the fact is, it's not network marketing that doesn't work. They didn't work. So your next powerful financial leverage tool is real estate investing. Now, regardless of your financial status, there are ways for you to get into real estate investing. But before you do anything, it is imperative, like getting into any kind of business, it is imperative you become very educated about that investing option. I recommend Robert Kiyosaki and his Rich Dad Trainers and other real estate investing training. But if you have a, z a zero money and a bad credit rating and, and uh, no way in hell anybody's going to give you a loan and real estate does not excite you, then this option is probably not for you. But fear not, there are much less inexpensive financial leverage tools available to you other than getting bank loans to buy real estate, which are much more accessible and less risky for the average person. So the next, this brings us to the next financial leverage tool, which is investing. Now, you're once again, you're thinking, I don't have any money, blah, 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 blah. Now, this financial tool, in my opinion, is the most exciting and accessible way to achieve financial freedom, especially in this day and age of the Internet. In the old days, you had to have money to make money. But with the countless online investing options available to us today, with a little bit of education and due diligence to make sure that the company's up and up, and by regularly putting in relatively small amounts of money into these systems, you can really set yourself up well financially. And you may be thinking, I can't afford to invest money. And I say, you can't afford not to. You may be saying, I don't have any extra money to invest. And even if I did, I don't know how to invest or where to invest in. Well, fear not, because the most powerful leverage tool that you have available on Earth that we have available to us uh, the Internet has changed all that. In the old days, you had to have a lot of money and, uh, you know, be in the know-how about this and that company to invest in stocks or Forex or commodities or bonds or real estate, etc. But now, with the Internet, anyone can start investing with very little money to start out. And especially because there are professional investing companies that will do everything for you. Today, you can get involved with companies that invest in Forex, cryptocurrencies, stock market, and even real estate, uh, who take your money and pool it with other people's money and generate serious profits and, uh, for you and the, and the investing company. Now, one of the biggest investing leverage tools available is cryptocurrency. And the world of crypto is very complex, and to become a legitimate crypto trader and make serious money, you need some serious education, which is generally available on the internet. You could, but you know, or you could just throw money at it and possibly get lucky, which is what most people try to do. Uh, but you could also potentially lose your shirt like a lot of people have done. Here's where we swing back to the most powerful financial leverage tool uh, that you have available to you, and that is education. Then, of course, always mindset. Now, investing in crypto is relatively easy and inexpensive to get started, but you must understand that just like the stock market, cryptocurrencies go up and down with the whims of humanity's attitudes and the financial markets. But unless you get seriously educated about the crypto world and dedicate some serious time to it on a daily and weekly basis so that you really know what the heck you're doing, I don't recommend really just kind of, you know, throwing money at it. What I do recommend doing is hiring a professional trading company to do your investing for you. Now, I'm not talking about mutual funds which go up and down with the stock market. <clears throat> 
and as solid and trustworthy as they tell you that mutual funds are, you could still lose a ton of money if the stock market crashes. Robert Kiyosaki's written a heap of books about that. So what I recommend is putting money into companies that really know what the heck they are doing when it comes to investing. There are a lot of them out there right now trading in crypto and Forex and stock market and even real estate. And they take your money, invest it, they take a percentage of the profits and they give you a percentage. And they're usually a very large percentage, much larger than you could ever get from a bank. So, you receive income from investing your money and there is, of course, uh, op uh, an optional additional source of income for those go-getter type people, which is referral income. In other words, making money, uh, making commissions from introducing the company and the opportunity to people. Now, all of these investing companies, or, or generally most of them, are at least affiliate marketed, meaning you can make commissions when someone that you introduce it to invests their money into the company. Uh, you usually get you know anywhere from eight to 10 to 15 percent. Affiliate marketing is good because you get a commission from helping out a friend who joins, and you know it's, a, it's simple and straightforward. You just get a certain commission. But the leverage of affiliate marketing is limited because there are usually no more commissions that you can receive after the, your friend's initial purchase. Whereas some companies are network marketed, meaning they have a much deeper and broader commission structure where you can continue making money from the team of people that you have brought to the company. Network marketed companies have a much larger leverage, financial leverage potential. The great thing about these style of, of investing, this style of investing is the referral income or the mark, network marketing income is completely optional. So for those people who are not motivated to show it to others, afraid of rejection, etc., etc., still, you can still make money from the investing side of things whether you introduce it to people or not. <clears throat> Contrary to a product or generally uh, any kind of network marketing company, uh, where unless you're actively promoting and continually signing up new people and your team is continually signing up new people, uh, people are buying the products, etc., you don't make any money. But with a network marketing investing company, even if you don't tell a soul about it, you still make money every single week as your money is invested every single week in whatever market that that company invests in. And over time, you can achieve a solid passive income and eventual financial freedom. Now, I'm part of uh, a couple teams of uh, freedom-oriented people who do our due diligence about investing companies and investment opportunities and who provide education about these opportunities so that you know that when you get involved, you are provided avenues to do your own due diligence and you feel confident that you are with a legitimate company that has your best interest at heart and is not some fly by night crypto scam. And because it's coming from a friend, it's coming from somebody who cares like me, it's not coming from a uh, uh, salesman um, who you know just just wants the sale. Um, anyway, we you know it's so much it's, it's so much better, so much more solid because we've done we've done the research, etc. We've We've been involved in it for a long time. The one I've been in, I've been in for like five months. And, of course, I know people that have been in much longer. So we know it's legit. So, and we investigate different companies and are, you know, directly involved in the best of the best because we look at them all. And I'm especially involved with one company that it really ticks all the boxes for me, knowing what I know from my extensive 10 years of experience in network marketing and business and investing, uh, as well as marketing, training, etc., etc. So, if you are a freedom and prosperity oriented person who would like to get your money working hard for you, rather than you working hard for your money, then contact me now at ilovefreedom.info or click the link on this video. Uh, and I will show you a short video on how to make that happen. And you'll also get my support and guidance to help you succeed in a big way. And most of all, you're going to have fun.
That's the only reason I'm doing this, because it's fun, because I like to have fun, because boys and girls just want to have fun, which is why you want the money and the success in the first place, to have fun. So, go to ilovefreedom.info. I look forward to hearing from you. Hope you got something from this video. Share it with your friends if you did. Send me a, um, uh, a little ho. I liked the video. Um, share it with your friends. Come visit me at zakyron.com uh, for tons more self-empowering videos uh, and goodies to help you become a conscious, deliberate creator of reality. Thanks again for watching this video uh, or listening to this podcast, and I wish you immense joy and abundance on your magnificent journey of divine creation. My name is Zakyron, and of course, remember to make life a holiday.